If you're cruising with kids, of course you want them to have fun, but since you're a good parent, you also want them to learn something, right? Now, you may be saying, Jeff, between the pool, water slides, buffet, rock climbing wall, go-karts, shows, and other scheduled activities, there's no way they're gonna learn anything. Well, grab a notebook, parents. I have 10 fun things you can do to make sure your children learn a thing or two on your next cruise. My first tip is very simple. If you have younger children, have them draw a picture of something they enjoyed that day. Not only will this give your child the chance to focus and relive a pleasant memory, but it's also gonna give you some insight on what impressed your kid that day, and the results may surprise you. Number two is to have them write a thank you note to your room steward. This will help with both writing skills and penmanship skills and give them a chance to show a little kindness. Years ago, our daughter did this for our housekeeper at Disney World, and when we got back to the room, there was a very nice note addressed to our daughter telling her how the thank you note had really made the housekeeper's day and wishing our daughter a magical stay at Disney. Let's stick with the kindness theme for tip number three. You and your family are going to be interacting with crew members from all over the world. Wouldn't it be awesome if your kids could say hello and thank you to them in their own language? Many cruise ship workers come from the Philippines, but you may run into crew members from any place in the world. If you don't have time to research how to say hello and thank you, just ask them. They'll be happy to tell you. Any parent knows that when you ask your kids how their day was, they're going to respond with that dreaded one-word answer, good. Well, number four is a trick you can use whether you're sitting around the table for dinner on the cruise ship or hanging out at home. It's the same question, just phrased a bit differently. Instead of saying, how was your day? Instead say, tell me the best thing and worst thing about your day. This takes away the option of giving that robotic answer of good and makes them think about their answer. It's also a great conversation starter. Sailing into tip number five. Before you step off the ship at each port of call, tell your kids that at the end of the day, you're gonna be asking them to give you three facts about the country or city you're visiting. It may be the capital of the country, the language that's spoken there, or some historical fact. Learning a little bit about where they're visiting is gonna make things a little bit more enriching for them. Five tips down, five more to go. Hey, if you're getting any value from this video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you'd like to see some more videos about cruising or fun, strange, beautiful places all across the United States, please consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel. It's free, it's easy, and it really helps out the channel. Finally, click that little bell icon to be the first to know when I upload new videos. I'd really appreciate it. Let's go to tip number six. Use the ship to help teach math. Now, hear me out on this one. Chances are good that your children are gonna be very interested in this big floating wonderland that you're living on. Use that to your advantage. Give them real world math problems like, if there are 1400 cabins on this ship and each cabin has three people in it, how many passengers are on the ship? Or you could make it a little bit harder by saying, if there are 1,400 cabins on this ship and half of them have two people, the other half have three people, how many passengers are on the ship? Or we have 11 hours to get to the next port that is 150 miles away. How fast will the ship have to go to get there on time? Of course, adjust the questions to meet the skill level of your child, but this is a great way to make math relatable on your cruise. Number seven, have them keep a journal. Tell them to write one page every day about what they've experienced on the cruise. It might be about a new friend they met, a new food they tried, or someplace they visited. This helps with writing and communication skills and is gonna be a great way for them to remember their wonderful cruise. And this isn't just a good idea for the kids. I keep a journal on every cruise I go on and I love it. You might wanna consider doing it too. Number eight, depending on the cruise line you're on, you may be able to find a map on your cabin TV that shows you the position of your ship. Some cruise lines have this map in a public area. You can use this map to help teach your children about geography, latitude, longitude, and more. It's a great way to give them a different perspective about the trip. 
This is one of my favorite tips, tip number nine. Sometimes you'll find behind the scenes tours of the ship. It's an awesome way for your kids and you to learn about what it takes to keep this floating city running. My wife and I have taken behind the scenes tours of the engine room, the galley, we've gone backstage at the theater, we've even been up on the bridge. It's fun, fascinating, and very educational for all ages. Before I get to the top tip, I want to give you a few other ideas that didn't quite make the list, but they're worth mentioning anyway. I found that many times some of the in-room movies on your TV will be related to the cruise itinerary you're on. For instance, on our last cruise to Alaska, we watched a movie called The Great Alaska Race, which told the story of the 1925 serum run to Nome, Alaska. These movies may not be 100% historically accurate, but it's a good starting point. Also, remember that many cruise lines have kids clubs with specialized activities that can be both fun and educational. And the onboard activities for everyone may include free lectures on a variety of topics that your kids just might enjoy. Thanks for sticking around to the end. We finally reached tip number 10. You and your family are probably going to see some great entertainment on your cruise. When you're in the theater, take some time to look beyond the performers and point out to your children the other elements that go into the production. Talk about how much the set design, the lighting, and the sound added to the show. In some cases, you might even be able to take a look at the sound and lighting control board. This is a great opportunity for them to learn that there are a lot of people behind the scenes that all contribute to putting on a great show. So follow these tips and who knows, the kids you get off the ship with might be a little bit smarter than the ones you got on the ship with. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeff and I'll see you on the back roads or at a cruise lecture.